Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 5 best track saw that are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based in my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions and more. If you want to see more information in the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure subscribe for more reviews ok so let's get started with the video. At number 5, we have the WEN CT106510 Amp 6.5 inch plunge cut sidewinder circular track saw. Track saws can be undeniably expensive. That's why we like the WEN CT1065. If you are trying to keep your budget under control and don't need a saw with the utmost in power or extra features, this is a fine plunge saw that does a great job of making accurate cuts across plyboard and similar materials. The saw has a 10 amp engine and a 6.5 inch blade. It does not have variable speed control. The maximum speed of the tool is 5,500 revolutions per minute. Nor does it have a soft start features. Still, customers for the most part felt that this is a fantastic entry level saw for those who don't want to pay for bell and whistles they might not need. The saw can bevel up to 45 degrees and cut to a depth of 1 and 5 eighths inches thick at that angle. When at a 90 degree angle, you can cut materials up to 2 and a third inch thick. An impressive depth for such an inexpensive saw. A few buyers said the plastic control knobs felt flimsy, but the design of the tool does keep its weight to a reasonable 12 pounds. Its cord is only 6 feet long, which is definitely on the short side, so you'll want to consider the distance to electrical outlets before getting started on your projects. Note that this saw does not come with any guide rails. Those must be purchased separately. However, even when you add the cost of the saw and the additional cost of the rails, it's still far less expensive than most other track saws on the market, and the majority of buyers are very pleased with its performance. Moving on at number 4, we have the Evolution R185 CCSX Multi-Material Track Saw Kit. Most track saws are designed to only cut wood, and require a change of blades to cut other materials, if that's even advised by the manufacturer. But not the Evolution R185 CCSX. This multi-material track saw can muscle through not only wood, even wood studded with nails, but also composite materials, laminates, plastics, and metals both magnetic and non-magnetic. All without a change of blade, because the included 7 and a quarter inch blade can smoothly and cleanly chew through any of those materials without leaving splinters or rough edges. That makes it a very versatile addition to any DIYer's workshop. It bevels from 0 to 45 degrees, and has a 1 and 13 16 inch cutting depth at 45 degrees and a 2 and a half inch cutting depth at 90 degrees. However, note that this is more of a circular saw that can run on a track. It is not a pure track saw with plunge ability. The saw has a powerful 15 amp motor with lots of torque, so it won't bog down when cutting through metal or other hard materials. However, it does not have variable speeds, but just a maximum speed of 3,700 revolutions per minute. It has comfortable easy grip handles for better control, and you can hook it to your shop vacuum to keep the dust under control. The saw comes with three short pieces of track, along with connectors, for a maximum guide rail length of 40 inches. You can purchase more tracks separately if desired. Considering the reasonable price of this saw, it's a bargain even after purchasing an extra track. At number 3, we have the Makita SP6000J16-1 half plunge circular saw kit. For a saw that cuts lumber with a splinter-free finish, we recommend the Makita SP6000J plunge circular saw. Combined with the proper track, this saw creates smooth, mirror finish straight cuts. It also has electronic speed control, which allows the saw to maintain a steady speed that provides these precise cuts. The dust port connects to a vacuum to redirect excess material. The saw has a high bevel capacity and close to wall cutting capabilities. I recently got this saw and I absolutely love it, wrote one customer. The accuracy is beyond belief. I cut edge banding off 5 quarters, white oak less than 1 16th thick and the resultant pieces were perfectly consistent with no machine marks at all. 
Taking the saw to the workpiece instead of trying to manhandle those heavy panels onto the table saw makes so much more sense. Especially when working solo. At number 2, we have the Craig Axe 2000 Adaptive Cutting System, Saw Plus Guide Track Kit. Not every track saw has tracks included, and it's important for new users to have all the pieces before getting to work. The Craig Axe 2000 Adaptive Cutting System has all the components necessary for a functional and portable tool. The saw is ideal for woodworking, boasting a plunge cut, track with a straight edge guide, and a variable speed motor with load compensation. The tracks have anti-slip strips that help to secure the tool without clamps. One buyer with a small workshop explained that they bought this track saw as they'd been previously having difficulty breaking down large sheets of plywood on their table saw. It works beautifully, they wrote. This track saw makes pristine cuts and is very accurate. The dust collection on this saw when paired with suction makes it basically dust-free. I couldn't imagine not having this tool. And finally at number 1, we have the Bosch GTK 13-225 6.5-inch track saw. The GKT 13-225 track saw from Bosch performed the most cuts the best and the easiest in the tests we ran. It's the easiest saw in the group to engage the thin rail on its track. No fussing around trying to get it just so. It slides easily, the motor is plush even under duress like cutting red oak or composite decking. It runs smoothly, and there was no need to dial down its variable speed because the cuts were crisp with near zero tear out or blade marks and left in the work. It comes with two 63-inch rails and a great carry bag to keep rails safe on a job site or in a busy shop. The 126 inches of rail, plus the longest cord on any track saw we tested, makes it an absolute go-to for long rips and crosscuts in deck building activities. There was zero vibration with a nice, upright handle position, sensible switches, and easily the most power. Plus, it can provide minus 1 to 47 degree bevel cuts. This saw delivered on all counts. Thanks you for watching guys, I hope you liked this video if this video is helpful to you. Please make sure like comment and subscribe, if you have any question related to this product you can leave a comment down below. I will get back to you as soon as possible.